This morning in Health Watch, we begin a series called Heart Score by looking at a new medical procedure. It's called HeartNet, and it works like support hose for the heart. You heard that right. Dr. Simon Maybaum is director of the Center for Advanced Cardiac Therapy at Montefiore Einstein Heart Center here in New York, and Antoinette Jackson is one of the first patients to undergo the procedure. Good morning to Good morning. you both. Good morning, Harry. When I first saw this heart, this model heart this morning, he said, this is too big. A human heart is not this size but this is a model of a diseased heart. What would be wrong with this heart? Well, there are five million patients with congestive heart failure in the United States, and when the heart muscle becomes weak, the heart begins to enlarge, and in fact, some heart failure patients can have huge hearts, and that puts a stretch on the heart muscle cells and on the walls of the heart. Right. And eventually, when the, when the pump becomes weak, patients become very symptomatic with shortness of breath, and tiredness, and they retain fluid in various parts of their body. Right, just impossible to sort of continue on with life as this heart gets bigger and bigger and bigger. This is what you had, right? Yes. All right. Yes. So they come to you how long ago? A uh, year, year and a half ago. And they said, we want to put one of these gizmos on your heart. And you said what? I jumped to it because at the time I was in jeopardy of being put on a heart transplant list. Oh my God. And I'm a survivor. Right. So I'm willing to fight, do what I need to do yeah. to be there. How, would it describe your symptoms. How bad had it gotten? Um, well, in the beginning, I was unable to even dress myself, bathe myself without assistance. Um, I wasn't able to go out, out of the house. I was a prisoner in my own home. My gosh. Shortness of breath. Shortness of breath. I literally couldn't move from yes. point to point without being Needed completely assistance. Ex yes. Exactly right. You do this procedure, have yes. this procedure done a year ago. Yes. What have the changes been? Well, um, before the procedure, I was able to walk eight minutes on a treadmill. Now I can do 12 and a half minutes. I can do 10 minutes on my bike at home. I've lost 40 pounds. You've lost 40 pounds? 40 pounds. Because you can move. Yes. Yes. Life is much better. And this April, I'll be 43 years old. Thank you. Amazing. Very excited. Very Amazing. excited. Amazing. What does this literally do then? Well, it's a simple but ingenious idea. It supports the walls of that dilated heart and it takes the stress off those heart muscle cells, hopefully to make the heart smaller and stronger. Um, it's put in through a very small incision on the side of the chest yes. through a miniaturized delivery system oh. and the whole procedure takes about so an hour. So they don't have to do the whole, no. the whole open chest. Oh my God. I have a one inch, a quarter of an inch incision. What? under the left pack. Now, has this been approved for greater use yet? Or? Not, not, not at all. In the United States, this is part of a um, really fascinating trial at 29 centers uh. in, in America. Uh, and it's one of the most exciting things that we're studying at Montefiore Medical Center. Yeah. Very, very interesting. You look great. You thank look you. I'm so feeling good. good. Life is good again. That is really good. Antoinette, thank you so much. Dr. Maybaum, really, really appreciate it. Come back and let us know when this thing gets approved, all right?